This one's supposed to be a little bit more chill, which means more than likely it's going to be the one that you guys rip each other's heads off over. Is the use of generative AI moral or ethical? Is the use of generative AI moral or ethical? We're going to be starting with our opening statements with Sansol. You guys can use some of your two minutes to respond to stuff from the previous section. However, that is going to be your two minutes, and I will move on hard to the next individual afterwards. So starting with Sansol, please take it away. Um, I think the AI is a tool that is both amazing and scary. I think that, um, is it moral to use it? I think yes, but there are ways that you can use it immorally, like using, like making deep fakes of random, like women to jerk off to them and they see that. That's probably not a super great feeling. Um, uh, also, the the idea that we could use it to for disinformation campaigns to trick people about political topics is really scary. Um, but I uh, am going to be honest on this one, guys. Uh, I could be pushed either way. Um, it just depends on what kinds of safeguards that we put up, and we definitely do need to put up some kind of safeguard for it. Okay. Moving on to Nina. Um, I would definitely agree with the safeguards. I think that um, we talk about morally when it comes to using AI. I think one of the big factors of that is like AI art. And one of my issues is that it obviously pulls like from actual artists that that make stuff and none of them are credited i think there is a way that we can uh do that because it's cool you know to just have a, something generate an image like uh, one of my pictures is a picture of me that i got from a bunch of different like ai things but I, the, the big problem where it comes to morality is like are we giving people credit for what is being pulled from and that's like a big point when I think about AI art, it's about the morality of like, basically, are we stealing or are we like, as you would in normal thing, being inspired by? And, and if that's the case, like, uh, should that be, you know, because obviously if it's able to steal the artistic elements from um, a, a, a particular artist, uh, they obviously know where it's coming from. So it could easily be sourced if, if you think about that. And I think that's a big aspect for me that I think I... I uh, is important to talk about when it comes to like AI stuff. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Nina. Moving on to Media Wench. Um, yeah, I'm I'm probably with Sansa on this one. I could probably be pushed either way, if, whether or not the safeguards that should be put in place will ever be put in place. To go to Nina's point, is where artists are getting credit for things that are getting pulled from the internet. And pulled in. I don't use AI a whole lot. I am an artist, so um, most of my stuff is physical, and uh, I don't really mess with uh, like computer art much. But the the ease of which it, people can manipulate things and uh, and and create misinformation and disinformation campaigns with the technology, I think that that's probably in the future one of the things that we're going to have to take harder looks at as uh, as more information is available faster and in more mediums. Um, so yeah, I would have to just say that it's probably, yeah, it definitely moral ways to use it. Absolutely. immoral ways to use it. There are certainly ethical ways that you could use it, source things for yourself. It's already been proven that there are tremendous unethical ways to use it. So I would be a big fan of, um, yeah, lots of safeguards we're putting into place so that think, that just people aren't tricked by something that's fake. It causes lots of problems when <laughs> people are fooled and can't admit it. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Media Wench. Moving on to Hippie Jesus. Uh, I think any uh, outcry and outrage about generative IE, uh, AI, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> AI is ridiculous, it's baseless, and it really is just like a feelings contest about um, what can we be offended by today. Um, uh, I saw during like, uh, commercials for the movie, uh, late night with the devil, a lot of comment sections were boycotting it because of two AI images that were made. Uh, AI is just a tool that is used, uh, in media and it's nothing more. It is a moral neutral until proven otherwise. Okay. Thank you very much. Moving on to Druid Jesus. 
Yeah, and there might be actually quite a lot of agreement here. Like, AI is a tool. That's the exact thing that I have written down. And a tool is only as ethical as its user. Um, and that goes into a conservative's idea behind 2A, where it, it, I have the right to defend myself. I have the right to use my god or artificial created claws, um, so to speak. And um, the when we come into AI, we, actually, we absolutely have to have a conversation behind um, stealing versus appropriating versus art, art as a muse, a source of a muse. We also need to have a conversation about how these uh, works should be as transparent and open as possible, especially when there's not significant trade secrets that are um, being exposed. And obviously we need to punish the stuff that's already bad, like impersonating someone or harassing someone along those lines. But um, I think that like also the scary thing behind AI is that uh, people don't understand that they're just large language models. They're able to synthesize a lot of information at this point where we look at a test for AI actually gaining some kind of human capability of reasoning beyond the given facts. Bless you. And so so what this test could be is that we give it all the information of a flat earther, and then if the AI and the large language model can actually logic its way through, oh, this is actually wrong information, and I need to actually denote that this information that I thought was right is actually wrong, um, would be the first step. And as soon as that step is uh, done, I think politicians and like should legislate, actually, that that step would need to be immediately given and told to. Uh, I'm a military brat, so like my, 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 immediately impul my immediate impulse is to seconds. give it to DOD or the executive board, because that would be really scary if AI and large language models can do a novel tech Okay, cool. Thank you. Moving on from, I lost track of everybody. Moving on from Chew and Jesus to Admiral Gibbs. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I guess the prompt said generative AI. So yeah, I mean, uh, not AI as a whole, but I mean, I don't really care if we expand to either one. But I'll, I'll say this. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a tool. I think that's been mentioned a few times. I think there's some interesting uses for it that are like pro good things. Uh, even in the creative realm, where like they do use former images of people. And the, really, the example that comes to mind as a Star Wars nerd is uh, Peter Cushing, uh, that the actor that played Tarkin. He signed his rights over to Lucasfilm, and he was a huge fan of Star Wars and wanted to be in more films. But unfortunately, he died. And the idea that they can use generative AI, AI to bring him back, him and his huge family are a massive fa a fan of this. And like we saw that like the early ones in Rogue One were a little janky and weird, but now it's getting better and better i'm looking forward to maybe an ai generated tarkin sometime in the future you know we'll see if disney does that right that's a whole different debate um but i will say uh, i think that um you know hippie jesus here uh, jesus, uh, the other jesus jesus over here put uh, a proper a uh, spin on this with the 2a thing um i left my genitive ai running on the uh, porch and it didn't make any new uh new pictures so i'm real impressed okay thank you very much admiral gibbs moving on to pentuple tv um, so I have the same basic take. It's a tool. Like an, if you have, if you use a knife to stab someone, that's unethical. If you use a knife for its intended purpose, then it's fine. Um, but uh, I, Nina had me thinking when she said that uh, she thinks it's that you could tell where the AI is sourcing stuff from. I don't know that that's true. And I actually think that one of the best uses of generative AI is going to be content creators like us who aren't musicians necessarily, who want to use stuff like background music or other sort of uh, any basically any sort of music that we we're, we don't have that talent we don't have that ability we don't have the time or whatever we can now use background music without it getting claimed by these you know artists who own copyright i think uh its best use is going to be like if these cre if these artists don't want us to use their music on our stream they're going to claim all of our work for doing that i think it's absolutely moral and ethical to use ai to fill that void for the content space because i don't know if you guys have seen it but if you upload a video on youtube with you know 15 seconds of a song it's gone it's over um so I think it makes sense to use it. I think that, um, I mean, assuming what Nina said isn't true, that I think the AI, I don't, I think, especially as the data pool grows, it's not necessarily picking from like one person that you can credit. Um, and also, I think it's what its purpose is going to serve is that it's going to be music that isn't copyrighted, that isn't owned, that doesn't exist anywhere, but allows people to use music in ways that we weren't able to before. So that's, that's sort of my spin on it. Okay, and that's moving right into drone tech with the final statement on the matter. Yeah, I think we probably mostly all agree on this. Uh, so I agree with everything everybody else said. I also agree that uh, it's an amazing tool for your average person to be able to compete with more talented, you know, more people, uh, people with more money. It's just it's it's just like YouTube kind of was. It gives an entry level 
uh, uh, ability for your average person to, to compete with everybody else, which I like. Uh, I, de I definitely see that there's plenty of evil that can be done with it. Uh, one of my all-time favorite 80s dystopian movies, The Running Man, is all about that. It's all about this oppressive government and corp corporations lying to the public uh, by making essentially these uh, AI-generated uh, deepfakes kind of thing. This is before AI, obviously, it was in the 80s. But uh, I would say the biggest threat that we really face from it now we already have a media that's willing to lie to us right to our faces every day. And if they get that power, the, and I'm just talking about the people who are dominant, uh, control our institutions right now, uh, I think that they could be very dangerous with that technology. And I think that people who believe that pretty much any action that they take is justified to save our democracy or whatever, I think they'd be willing to do that. And uh, so, yeah, it's amazing technology. I love technology. I love anything new coming around like this. But uh, it, just like anything else, nuclear or nuclear power has the potential to power everything cleanly, or it has the potential to completely destroy all life and ruin the planet. So, just how we use it. Okay, cool. And uh, that brings us into open topics of conversation, guys. Uh, if you want to add anything, go for it. So I'm going to actually start off with some friendly fire here, Pintuple. I got an answer for you, is that these yeah. LLMs and these AIs will and can reproduce if you do enough effort into it. They will reproduce, like, text and practice material that they trained on. Um, and it's and it's sure. actually, like, seriously a matter of, like, um, are they reproducing Van Gogh's Starry Night, who's dead for 200 well, it's, years? It's or are they, reproducing a, are they reproducing a modern artist who's still making money off of their art? So sure. that's where it really comes down well, to. And so it's really got, tricky. If I generate a song with AI, well, let me respond to this real quick. Yeah. If, I, if I generate a song with AI and you're saying, okay, we can identify the AI pulled from these 100 sources, right? Like, okay, it took some, you know, the voice sound from this song and this from that. Do all of those inputs need to be credited? Absolutely. Um, that's what I'm talking yeah, about when I said that the earlier. The transparency I, behind it needs to be transparent. I agree. Yeah. That's exactly what I was saying. Because obviously they're pulling from those sources, which means you have those sources, which means it should be transparent. Exactly. Um, what Drew just said. I don't, I don't say agree like a that. research paper has to, it has to credit wherever it's getting that research right. from. Where if it's doing like a novel process and uh, sure. petri dishing construction, you have to reference the 1800 uh, paper on petri construction um mm -hmm. so yeah just be i mean like and it should be even easier for us to require like hey this is looking fishy what about we want a discovery on what your what your background is so and because maybe there are some trade secrets and maybe there's even like proprietary things that it's learning off of that the company owns where it's like we sure. hired these five people to do um very classical music for us and we're gonna train an ai off of that so there's a lot of very like conflicting complex things well, to this. so for example i just started learning to play guitar i can only play like simple chords but a lot of songs way more than i thought have almost the exact same chord progression it's like the same four it's just like maybe slightly different strumming and stuff um how do you know who to credit when you have songs that are even going to be providing a lot very similar data i mean i don't i i don't know that i necessarily buy that like the data is clearly attributable to like a single source for every little bit of it. I don't think that that coding exists, but I, well, I could be wrong. You, I, have this, I, I have a devil's advocate position. It, I'm going to well, help you out just, Pintuple. Well, the, so, I, so I use Suno AI, for example. So like, however Suno well, works, I, I, I don't know. I'm not on the back end of that. I, I just How does regular like music clarify? Work? Don't yeah, they pull from other sources? Yeah, exactly. That's a great point, John Tech. That's a great point. Yeah, really quick. I just want to, I want to steal Mandem. I want to steal Mandem. What is the difference between the generative AI training itself on a million Million Van Gogh uh, paintings, right? Um, and someone who trains their entire life to recreate the same exact like color palette uh, style, the exact same um, you know art style of Van Gogh, and makes those paintings digitally. What's the difference between those two things? Well, that's where I was going to go with this question I'm going to ask, right? So let me let me say this, right? So like, what is what is the thing they always say? There's like six stories that have ever been told, right, throughout history. Like, are we going to go after, like, start going after, like, George Lucas 
for take, making Star Wars and saying, oh, you stole from Ronin, this 47 Ronin, you stole from Oedipus Rex, you stole from, you know, all the Shakespearean plays, like, you stole from, this is bad, this is evil, because, I mean, what is Star Wars but a hodgepodge of all these things? Well, well I think you're Marvel looking at the wrong way. Movies. We're yeah. not talking about so going well, after yeah, anyone, we're just talking about crediting, like, the same way that well, you would in, a, in an interview okay. or whatever. Well, to be like, honest, like, even if I agreed with you on crediting, there's no way we're going to do that. There's, like, is it, I don't well, see that as being you can feasible. because you can see what the AI pulls from. Yeah. Where does Dr. Dre... Like, you can't do that with a person. I agree with you, you cannot do that with a person. Previous AI generations, though. Like, the AI pool of data also... It's like the blockchain type shit. You can look at the... The chain yeah, of what Lucas it's pulling from. I don't stuff. know. Because he's a because person. He's not, a, he's not an AI. He's not, he's not an artificial intelligence. Yeah, right, yeah, but right. Shakespeare didn't credit anything. Because I just don't do why I generate a song necessary. that's like its own unique, like randomly generated song that doesn't exist being. anywhere. And some like hundred thousand artists across the world can get credit. I can't use it anymore. I don't. I just. I think that the use Nobody's of generative AI is to create a new. Use it. Uh, well, is uh, do you think that there should be copyright strikes on it if I use it and it's? I would not. No, not, not like a copyright strike. Like if it just ha takes elements, no, that would be silly. So how do you think they should be credited? What does that well, mean? That's an interesting like, question. Hey, I mean, elements, I think maybe. Can I can I bring up something else that's kind of in the metadata at least? One thing, like right now, if we post a YouTube video and there's music in it, it gets struck down, and that money goes to the artist. Yeah, real quick. Something that's similar to this is something called chip music. Are you guys familiar with that? It's, chip it's, music or uh, yeah it's chip, called chip or tune. shit chip oh yeah chip tune. chip yeah, tune. Yeah, 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 yeah. oh, oh chip tune. yeah so they're yeah, they're, they're, they're created through you know it? software and yeah. you got a lot of um so like all <laughs> that like old 8-bit music 16-bit music all that stuff you can from video games from that nintendo put out you can use For all sure. that stuff it's not copyrightable and yet that was created by somebody but because of the method that they use to create it is my understanding that they can't copyright it and so uh, that music, anything sure? created on these no. chips cannot be, yeah, it, it can't be copyrighted. Although I'll take that back because I know that there's people now who make modern chip music who I'm pretty sure they do copyright it, but something about the music they created back then, it's not I'm copyrighted. Almost certain, it. I'm almost certain that there's like Koji Kondo, the guy that wrote like 90% of the music for most uh, Nintendo stuff. It, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that like his music is copyrighted. Like the the melodies are going to be the copyrightable bit. I'm not sure exactly how copyright law applies to like the finished product or anything. Um, but in terms of why it's not why we don't get dinged for it on YouTube, I think is because so many people put up gameplay videos, and so there might be like something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty there's sure there's something it is to still... do with how it's produced too. I'll look it up, but yeah, well, also yeah, something to do with how it's it. reproduced as well. Well, they actually some of the companies have dinged people recently for posting game clips. They said this is copyright, and they've dinged people recently. Oh, I saw that on YouTube. And yeah, that's bullshit. But whatever. I, I I have one more question about this. Is like this is kind of one of my issues with the generative AI. Is like what's the line, right? Say like I took like I don't know. Let's do anime, like One Piece, right? And I made my own original, totally story, totally unrelated to One Piece, but I made, used a nearly identical art style. Clearly, it's my influence. Am I should I get like hunted down because I didn't credit Oda with oh you drew things a certain way so I made my own new story? No, you're a similar. person. That's yeah, what but, the conversation is about AI. Right. It's not a person having like it in their well, head, right. making their adding AI their own creativity to it. It's I mean to an extent AI is stealing a bit. How? But it's completely different if you're being influenced as an individual. You know, well, like, like as a but, but person. What is the, like, what is the difference on the actual substantive level, right? So, like, the difference if is I because draw it versus I like tell the AI to do because what I the AI is not going to add a, your own creative flair to it because you're a human being yeah, and the AI is a computer. It? Yeah, if I tell garbage it, I in, want garbage out. Slight difference. What's like the difference? That's why garbage in, garbage out. So you could train an AI off of yourself, right? Garbage in, garbage out is what they say in software dev when uh, you, it's because a, a software isn't going to just like you said, Admiral, is you're just gonna leave my software of my uh, AI on the on the on the couch or on the out in the backyard. Well, it's not point. gonna make a picture because garbage in, garbage out, or whatever the human input is, you're gonna get an output based on the human input. But it comes down to the fact that the AI has a huge matrix behind it that is actually almost uncomprehensible to even the people who are writing it and the people in these spheres that we can we we kind of basically assume or we say that this um ai is more or less because of how sophisticated it is it's able to have those what the the training systems almost embedded into it like a copy and it's not so you're using it's like you you're would like you wouldn't 
and okay, yeah, it's a skill like. issue. So, okay, it's a skill issue point. for the robot. And and this goes back to what I was saying, which is we need to see if an AI that we've developed so far can actually create a novel material. Because once it can mm. say that, oh, the Earth well, is actually on. round, and hold I've on. got all this information Wait. of the Earth no, 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 flat. No, 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 And no, once no, it can, no. once it can no, make no. a novel material. That's that's the case, let's, let's but it has not made a novel it material. Yet. It's only yeah. synthesized. On, this is only on. synthesizing. It's only Jesus, synthesizing. Let's use your own mm -hmm. example. You use two yeah. A earlier, and I use two A, and we both agree. All right, yeah. Christopher Kyle, greatest American sniper in the world. Let's give okay. you both the same gun. Uh, he can make a mile and a half long shot. I can make maybe I don't know two hundred yards together. We're talking about art, the, right? We are right. This I'm is a good example. No, I think I see where he's going. This is where I'm going. So yeah, if I cook, I need to hear this. I go if I go in there and I have this skill to type in there and go, hey, I want them to recreate Oda, but with this slight variation that's my own personal flair, I, and I have the skill to go type it out and do that, and the AI does it for me, versus I have the skill also to paint it, and I just save myself thousands of man hours to paint it, and then, oh, I buy type into the AI, and the AI do it for me. You know what it sounds to me whenever y'all are talking about this? A lot of a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth and pusitis. Well, I mean, and maybe it really just get good. It goes Wait, down to the Olympic thing, though, right? Kyle part? I wanted to hear oh, why. Wait, it's it's the the same thing. Well, the page is the same thing. If I go me... there, I'm like, if I go shoot, I'm not going to go, oh, my God, it's so unfair that Chris Kyle is just naturally more gifted and can shoot two miles down the road. Like, so, it's just because so, he's using a tool, right? You just said it's a tool. We're both using the same tool. Everybody can So this goes to the Olympic field. example. Exactly. Oh. If you look at the shooting, uh, the shooters who we've been memeing about, the top shooter and the, like, the, the silver and gold in, in the Olympics, there's literally, like, all these gadgets that like the gold and the bronze had but the guy from turkey was just bare bones in it like that's the picasso that's just got the paint and the easel and he's developed the skills to just bare bones it whereas so some then, people need some ai maybe they need a little bit of adobe maybe they need all the olympics, some, aren't they? maybe they need like three years of training and they can all get to the olympics and get to that level of olympic level of shooting but they're all using different tools to get there and different skill sets to that's get there whole point right and there. Like, it's just... up to and it's up to the general public to determine whether or not those skills like steroids are too much which i kind of believe that we should have a steroids olympics and a <laughs> nothing olympics but that's besides the point I mean, um yeah, where we can actually like what you're saying you're gonna start yeah. going after every cover band ever that's made their own original song like oh like, yeah. i'll give you one that's not even a original Someone, cover yeah. band Co cover band, like, Greta can't make original Greta Greta sounds like identical. By definition. Sounds but identical. due to the fact that it is a cover <laughs> you can easily no, find the on the internet the or thing. by research no look at Greta van fleet their lead singer sounds identical octively to What's his name? Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's Zeppelin. There is Zeppelin. It's 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 Zeppelin. It's
Uh, really short, really short um, final statements on this one. A minute tops. Okay, we're gonna cook through them. Then we're gonna get into the final arguments. Starting with Sansol, final statements on uh, is generative AI moral or ethical? Um, I think that the conversation is interesting. Um, it's just that it, it goes into so many different layers of legal stuff and moral stuff that I just don't know enough about to like make a strong determination. The interesting questions around um, AI to me have to do with uh, its effects on people's perception of reality and things like that. Uh, so in terms of like this topic, I'm, I'm mostly just listening. All right. I'm sitting down, shutting up and listening. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Nina, with your one minute, kick it off. I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, I actually really enjoyed this conversation. I think there's a lot of interesting questions about it, which are, you know, very like uh, Star Trek esque, where because uh, you're talking about, um, you know, the ethics, and I think it's uh, really interesting that we all have a, uh, no matter our backgrounds here, we do have a, a very interesting perspective uh, with with um, what we take from and and benefits of, and and I do agree with the aspect of it just being a tool at the end of the day, and how we use it is is the important part. Okay, thank you very much. Media Wench, you are up next. Um, I think that uh, that um, Pentuple brought up an interesting point about music. I think that definitely we should give credit where credit is due when it comes to people who create music. Uh, we do that, and we hold uh, all musicians who create music for profit and put that out there uh, to a standard where they need to credit uh people whose samples they take from and things that they take from other songs or whatever. Um, and if you need music for your stream, man, then go and uh, hit up some local bands around your area and ask if they can, uh, you can use their music. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hippie Jesus on to you. Uh, yeah, I really didn't have a, a dog in this race. I just really wanted to watch and see what everybody said and then like say something, at least one thing. Um, I thought it was really funny that the one Republican who kind of knew something about AI was getting dogpiled by three Republicans who knew nothing about AI. I thought that was really <laughs> hilarious. True. That's too many Republicans. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on to, um, Druid Jesus, thank you. Please take it away. So, yeah, I'm basically going to what Tonsdall says, basically sums it up, is that there's so many layers, and it's a huge, just giant onion that has, like, tracks through it, like a dessert, like, with, like, bunnies, and, yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> there's so much legal and tech stuff that just doesn't... <laughs> um that's just so complex um yeah it the effect the effect it has on people's perception of reality needs to basically be talked about and understood um it's only a tool and a tool, tool is only as ethical as its user we should punish the things that we all already kind of have on the books to be punished and maybe if there's unique crimes that come over this um we can punish those as well but yeah, we'll just see if it actually can come up with information by itself. And until that happens, I'm not too scared about it. Okay. Thank you very much. Admiral Gibbs, your statement. Uh, yeah, so I actually came into this pretty neutral, but I think over the course of this conversation, I uh, I have actually moved positions further uh, on one way or the other here. And um, I, it, yeah, it's this, it does bring up a lot of interesting questions about copyright and intellectual property. Uh, you know, as an avid hedonist, if I decided to like join some women's only fans and my... Hey guys, really quick, if you guys like my content, if you guys like my, uh, you know, my stream, this is my only form of income right now. So if you guys want to help a brother out using your subs, if you guys want to help a brother out using that donation link please feel free to uh drop some of the uh skrilla in my bank account please thank you okay thank you thank uh, you very much for uh that statement and moving on now to pentuple tv um so uh, i guess this comes down to uh our understanding of how ai works uh I don't know how it works, but what you guys are saying, it sounds like you're, you're suggesting that it takes a random data points and then gives you those just straight up where when I have used this to generate music, I don't see that like you'd have to be giving credit to people for like this A minor chord and then like this C chord. I just don't see it as being reasonable or feasible to like give credit to people when it is generating something that is unique. Um, it isn't like just giving a random song from its data point and giving you that song. It's trying to create something that appears to be the same that is actually novel and unique so um 
unless I'm wrong about that, which I, I guess I could be, I don't know much about AI. I don't know how it's generated. I, when the way I use it, it seems like it's generating something that's like completely new. Like if you, you don't find it somewhere else, not just like giving you someone's song from the data 10 point. seconds. So uh, yeah, I think that the use of generative AI is awesome, especially for us content creators who want to have something like background music while we're talking on stream. As simple as that, without stepping on the toes of those who did work and okay. create art. Moving on to Jerome Tech with your final statement. One minute. Uh, yeah, what I was talking about earlier with the chiptunes, Pentuple just kind of hit on that way. He's talking about copywriting the tones or whatever, and that's what I was thinking, but I was actually completely wrong on that. It is copyrightable, so hopefully Nintendo never sees my channel or knows of it. Uh, but my stance on this is basically it, it's a technology that's coming regardless of how we feel about it. I doubt moral or ethics will factor into it a whole lot. Because money will probably be what really drives it and innovation and whatever, you know, comes from that. Um, and I, I like the Star Trek analogy there uh, that was just made. I think there actually is an episode that deals with sort of with it, with data. But um, yeah, I, I basically think regardless of how we feel about it, it's coming. So get ready for it. Learn it. Mm -hmm. I would say learn how to use it. And if you know how to use it, it's going to be a powerful tool for you. People who don't are going to be left behind. Okay. Thank you very much for the last statement.